All right, what's up guys? Welcome to the next video in the Bootcamp X training. We've already onboarded our, uh, I call this the products or SKU dashboard. So it's got all of our SKUs here and you can see uh, it's got a space here for some metrics and then some initial bid inputs. By default, your setting screen is gonna look like this. So we've already plugged in our login and password, which you wanna make sure uh, you have those set. If they are set wrong, you're gonna get a notification when you go to run some of the critical functions uh, it'll just say uh oh there's an issue so either you don't have a paid account or uh, you have your login and password credentials set wrong is going to be your issue but initial default is going to be set to the apex algorithm there is a couple other options i'll have some other videos that cover these in detail but we're going to be focused on the apex algorithm to start with the products dashboard is going to be enabled from the get-go you don't have to use it uh, if you don't want, but I would just recommend starting out with that enabled and it'll make the f subsequent videos here I'm about to make make a little more sense because you are using it uh, But just know that That's kind of how it's set up by default and then your upload folder ID. This is pretty crucial go to your Google Drive account make sure you have this upload folder created and you just want to grab that ID make sure you don't have any leading or trailing spaces plug that guy in there and same type of deal if you do have the Flex Campaign Builder, that's our bulk uh, PPC campaign builder. If you have that tool, you can plug the ID in for that actual Google Sheet tool. And same with the metric system, you can plug those IDs in and that'll just give you a uh, quick access to them if you wanna get to them from here. Uh, so yeah, that's initial default inputs. And then you also have your bid inputs, which we're gonna carry on in the next video, but uh, they're gonna be off here to the right on both your products dashboard and what we call the bid override dashboards. You can see we've got some initial ones set there. Now in Google Sheets, you can set up here the viewable you know, zoom. So depending on your screen resolution, uh, that setting's there. Um, I'm gonna be covering these in the next video in a lot of detail, but just know by default, you're gonna have a single row here, which if we have the SKU or products dashboard disabled, so that's not checked, essentially all the targets in our uh, bulk file that we're gonna import are gonna be based on this single row of bid inputs. So uh, again, gonna be covering this in the next video, but uh, in this video, I wanted to end it by just downloading our first bulk file and getting it into the system. And then in the next video, we'll actually talk about the bid inputs. So uh, make sure, again, you don't have the wrong inputs for your Excel login and your FB Excel password. And then you should be able to go up and just hit get bulk sheet. And as long as, okay, so you can see there, I've got the wrong ones in there. Um, so, okay, so if you do have the wrong ones in there and you get that, uh, you get that flag. If you hover over here, it says go to account menu settings, authorize account to complete setup. So you want to go to settings, authorize account, and you just want to make sure you have the right inputs in and you should get a confirmation pay or a confirmation notification. Hit OK. All right, now we should be good to go to get bulk sheet. It's going to take us over to Amazon where we can select our initial range. So the way these bulk sheets work is you select a date range. I like to either go with 60 day in your first week or you can just jump right to the 30 day. I'm gonna go ahead and do 30 day uh, for the sake of this video, but you deselect campaign items with zero impressions, uh, make sure placement data for campaigns is deselected and these two should be selected. So you just hit create spreadsheet for download. And if you, uh, if you get an error when you actually go to download the bulk file, uh, what you can do is come up here and hover over that hamburger icon, click bulk operations, and it'll kind of refresh the entire page. And when you click on it the second time here, uh, just give it another second here. Depending on how big your bulk file is will depend on you know how long this download step takes. Usually for me, it's only about 15 seconds. And then when you hit download, it's going to prompt you because you've downloaded that uh, you know that desktop application and you've made that selection in Google Chrome to ask you where to save everything uh, it'll ask you where to save it you can just go to your training files and I like to call this my bulk download file or I'll name it the date and I'll actually have its own designated folder for bulk sheet downloads so that's what I do typically on a daily basis or every couple days when I optimize my bids 
Uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to put it in the training folder. I've already got one there, so I'm actually not going to save it. Uh, but that's how you would save it. And I'm just going to get out of this for now. And it's going to take us back. And to import it, we just go File, Import, same how we did with the other two files. And we're going to find our trainings file, bulk download, insert new sheet, import data. If you do have a really big bulk file, one step you can do in between here is open up your bulk download file before you import it and delete the sponsored brands and sponsored display. Uh, so that'll just leave you with the portfolios and the sponsored product campaign tab that you see down here at the bottom. So essentially these two here would not be uh, visible. Uh, but after you've got this file imported, if you do have a big account, I'm going to have a special video on uh, how to handle some really big files, but just know that there is some performance settings once you get uh, your initial bulk file imported that you can click the right here, reduce imported bulk file size, and essentially you can click some of these to remove unnecessary rows if you don't need them for uh, the, you know, the bid optimization sequence that you're carrying out. Uh, but the next step that I wanted to cover is we've done our get bulk sheet. Uh, the second step is just this initialization sequence. Go ahead and hit that and hit yes. And this is going to conclude this video. Uh, but what this is doing is it's, it's building some extra columns for our bulk file. This is going to allow us to navigate around our bulk file. It's going to allow us to automate the uh, bid optimization process based on some different algorithms that we have set and the bid input settings that we have set that we're going to be covering in this uh, video coming up. So. This is kind of the, the core step to getting your bulk file prepped and ready for bid optimization and where I wanted to leave off this video. So once this initialization sequence is done, which I'll wait till this one's done, you'll see you'll get a, a initialization sequence complete prompt and then you're good to uh, set up your bid inputs, adjust any bid override settings that you need and move on from there. So, all right, so there we go. We got the initialization complete. Uh, you, you need to kind of hover over the OK button until you get that little hand. Sometimes the Google Sheets scripts, they'll delay. There'll be a, a green loading bar in the upper right. You want to wait until this uh, notification prompt changed from running script to it'll say finish script. That's how you know you can, you're can you good to click around and navigate. But here's our uh, initialized bulk ops file. You can see some of the extra columns. I'm going to refrain from kind of going into detail on these at this point. I just want to kind of get your account set up to where you can start optimizing your bids and get a general understanding of how things are rolling. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.